hello lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel it's been so long but i'm finally happy to be back here again meanwhile if you are just clicking in thank you so much do what to subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon before leaving and to my old subscribers you guys are the real g thank you so much some persons checked up for me thank you so much for doing that today's tutorial is about how to create this beautiful ashoki zaria cap design which have both designs at the back the materials needed include your ashoki fabric of which you'll be needing half bondu but then about three away or three and a half will be more than enough for this project also be needing your marco your scissors your measuring tape matching color of thread and your needle as well as your gum and other accessories for embellishment we are working on a zara cap tutorial and the zara cap has the band where the marco is there is this um design on the marco then there is the multiple designs at the back so that is what makes up this design so i have my fabrics already cut out i'll go ahead to state them now starting with the marco for my marco i'm using 2.5 inches for the width by 18 inches for the length 2.5 by 18 thereafter i have the ashoke fabric for desire cap and we'll be needing three stripes of fabric the measurement for the length is 27 inches by the width of your ashoke 27 by the width of your ashoke thereafter i have the fabric for the design that will be staying on the marco and the measurement for this the length is 40 inches the length is 40 inches by the width of your ashoke thereafter we'll move over to the bow design at the back for the bow design at the back we'll be needing four different pieces of fabric and each have different measurements the first one is 25 inches the second one is 23 inches the third one is 21 inches and the last one is 19 inches and then finally we have the fabric for the loop i have six inches by five inches here for the loop fabric now going into the tutorial properly i have the three piece of fabric for my base which i said was 27 inches for the length now you place one on each other and join them so as to join all three pieces of fabric together then don't forget to fold in the fraying edges and sew it down right here i have my fabric already sewn i joined each three remember the length for this is 27 inches why the width is the same as your ashoke which is anywhere between six and seven inches so i've joined the three pieces together and i've also folded in the edge now you see me folding my fabric into two equal halves on the fine side i'm trying to get the middle so that i can mark it and to make working very easy for me so i just folded it into two and i've gotten that now i got my marco which is 2.5 by 18 inches and then i'm folding it into two and making a mark at the middle of the fabric you can also make a notch in place of that now as soon as that is done i'm going to open up my fabric place my marco on the wrong side of the fabric but then ensure that the middle part of your fabric aligns with the middle part of your marco. So I'm just going to place that down and fold down my fabric just as you see me do in the video. Then I will take this to my sewing machine and stitch it down from one end down to the other edge. So right here I have my fabric already sewn as you can see and that is it on the other side. Now, the next we are going to be doing is that that soon part, we are going to be pulling it to the middle part on the wrong side. Then on the fine side, that soon part, we want it to go inside so that it does not become visible to the eye. It will be hidden inside. So you just start pulling your fabric in gradually. It's a gradual process. You just pull the fabric to so pull it inside. And then I'll just go off camera to do this. And as soon as I'm done. I'll get back so if you look carefully now you'll see that that part is already going inside on from on the fine side it's already going inside why on the wrong side it's coming towards the middle part so that is what is expected 
So at this point, you can see that the edge is very neat. The sun part is inside. I've adjusted it completely. So that's a very, very neat work that we have there. And so that's how it looks like then. I'll set this aside. I'm just trying to position it. That's the fine side. And then you place your band on it. That way as illustrated in the video. So I'll set this aside while we work on the design that is on the macro before closing it up. Now, this is 40 inches for the length, like I earlier so said. So, please take your time to watch and see how I go about folding it to give that design that will be on the bar. Now, before now, you can decide to add gum on it so, as, so that when you fold your fabric this way, the gum will help the fabric stay in place. So, please just watch carefully. So at this point, I'm done with the design. So my gum was able to help me to hold my fabric in place. And this is how it looks like. You can see how it came out to be. So I'm just trying to straighten it out and then glue it down properly. As soon as this is done, I'm going to now set it aside while I get the Zaria cap that I've already sewn before now. Okay, so I have the cap base. And then I'll place my design on it. You can try to use gum to attach your design down to your Zaria cap. That's still okay. Now, when creating your, when adding your design, I'm going to stitch it at that edge first. I'll stitch it on both edges. After stitching it on both edges, I'll go ahead to fold it and then sew it round. So this is it. I first stitched it on that edge. And I stitched it at the other edge. I used my pins to hold it down in place. Then I can now go ahead to fold my cap into two equal halves. And then stitch it down. So this is it now. I'm done stitching it. And I'll proceed to cut off the excess fabric that I have. Now after cutting this off. I recommend that you get lighter to slightly burn off. The rough edges so as to avoid further fraying of the fabric or in place of lighter you can use your soda iron to slightly burn off that edge so that is that then as soon as we're done with that I'll get my needle and thread and proceed with making the running stitch on the fabric just like we do with a to band cap so get the matching color of thread and immediately after the band down to the end of the fabric that is where the running stitch is going to take place. So as soon as that is done, I'll flip my work over to the fine side 
and this is it remember for this design on the mark while i said you can tack down or make use of your gum to glue it down in place so that it doesn't move the way it is doing now so i just got to remove my paint adjust my fabric and then azaria cap base is ready so what we'll be working on next is the the design that we attached on it so either use your gum to glue down that design on the marker together or stitch down with your needle and thread to avoid it moving about now coming to the fabric for the design remember i said we need four pieces 25 inches 23 inches 21 inches and 19 inches for the length while the width is anywhere between six and seven inches so what we'll do is that we'll get each piece fold it into two equal halves and sew it down at the edge so i'll do that for all four pieces of fabric and then get back now the same thing is applicable to the loop fabric i'll fold it into two so that i have 2.5 by 6 inches and then sew it down from one end to the other end at this point i'm done with my loop fabric i finished sewing and i also went ahead to turn it inside out and that is how it looks like now to the fabric for the bow i've sewn and i've also turned it inside out remember we have four pieces 19 21 23 and 25 inches now for the first design we're going to be working with three pieces only which are 19 inches 21 inches and 23 inches these are the three pieces we'll be working with first so what i will do is i'll place one on each other just as you see me do in the video and i'm going to be pleating it so as to get that bow design at the middle then after getting the bow design i'll use my needle and thread to run it through so as to secure that shape and secure that design so that is what i'm trying to do now At this point i'm almost done with the bow and i'm just trying to secure it in place now what i have here is the last piece of fabric which is 25 inches i got it pleated it at the middle and just folded it into two so as i folded it into two i remember as i pleated it into two and i folded it at the middle see the way i'm folding it and watch the way i'm going to position it on the bow design i made with the three fabrics earlier now i'm going to be positioning it i'll position it at the top of that bow design which i created earlier it's going to be sitting on top of it to give it a different outlook so at this point all i'm trying to do is to use my needle and thread to tack it down at that top part of it i want it to be at the top and i want the sides to be equal so that's what i'm trying to achieve just requires you to pass you keep passing until and thread in and out until what you get is firm enough for you to leave it that way and at this point i'm done tacking i'm okay with what i have so i will get the loop fabric which i've already sewn and turned inside out and please watch to see the way i'm passing in and watch to see the way i'm passing the loop fabric and the way i'm going to close it up so that is it i'm trying to fold it down position my bow in place and you have it there so you can you can either glue that part down or make use of your needle and thread to stitch it while this is the front you can see everything is in place everything is set and is giving what it should give so that is how it is so i'm now going to use my needle and thread to tack down the loop then tack get my zaria cap then tack down the bow with the loop down to the zero cap with my needle and thread. So it just requires patience and then you will get it. So that is it.
and then at this point i'm already done tacking this is how it's looking like so i was just trying to say that you can embellish that loop part with any applique of your choice so as to keep the sewn stitches hidden and then for the design on the marker you can use your stones your applique whatever accessory you have to further embellish it for a more beautiful outlook and so placing this on my dummy head this is the final outlook you can see where i, I use my gum I applied gum on my stones and i used it to embellish it it's really simple beautiful and lovely thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel like and share this video and also leave a comment in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'm very happy to be back once again until our next tutorial bye